Hello, and welcome, once again, to a new set of poor plays. So, it's been a while, um, and here is another Zachtronics game. Shenzhen I.O., which I believe is a bit like, um, what is it called, TIS-100, in that it's this sort of pseudo-assembly language programming game, but with added circuit design goodness and fun. So, we're here. I mean, once again, I think what I'll do is I'll try not to spoil too much of the game. The Zactronics games, even though they are primarily puzzle games, they do have quite a nice sort of story hidden in the background, sort of with incidentals and bits and pieces. And this one is presented as a series of emails um, that you get. Um, sort of basically an email per puzzle, but there's sort of you know, flavour and a bit of story going on as, as you've sort of moved to China to work in the electronics industry at some stage in the future. The other cool thing about this game is you won't be able to see this. When I click on this, it'll open a PDF and the game does encourage you and gives you instructions how to sort of print it out and make your own folder out of it. You know, a good ring binder with dividers and plastic sheets and all the rest of it. So... You know, playing the game with that printed out, I haven't actually got it printed at the moment. I'm still using the PDF version of it, but, um, you know, it will improve the game. And it's, it's a lovely touch. TIS did it as well with their their manual. So let's have a quick look at what's happening. As I said, it's a, it's a programming game a la TIS 100, more so than Infinifactory. Um, but with some sort of added sort of pathing and circuit design, which we'll get to. And the game is presented through this. So you get your email, basically. And again, I think these Zactronic games are wonderful. Well, well worth playing. And because it's new, I don't want to spoil too much of this stuff in terms of reading out all the text. Now, I know some people would like this more as a let's play, proper let's play, put it that way, you know, to, to follow the entire game. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to treat it the same way as I treated my other ones, more as a puzzles and going through the the enjoyment of solving the puzzles and encourage everybody who enjoys this to buy the game themselves and and experience the these parts of it so that's just me anyway so the first thing we have is security um camera fake so this is the main playing board of the game and what we have here is we have these sort of chips, which have some sort of little programming language. Again, uh, like TIS-100, one of the main things which makes it difficult is obviously we only have one, two, three, four. I think this is nine lines of code you can write here. Very similar to the, to the programming language of TIS-100. Some changes, like especially the way, um, what do we call it? Especially the way, The if statement, like test equals is equal is done, and we, we'll, we'll, we'll see that just from reading the manual. So what we have to do here is if I click on verification, we see basically what's coming in on this pin. So this pin, so each one of these sort of lines here is a cycle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six cycles, it stays low. Six cycles, it goes high again, low, high, low, high. So if I run it, this bit of the chip has already been programmed to do that. So I'm just going to go over quickly. So what it's doing is it's moving 0 to P0, which I believe, let me see, is this one here. This is the simple sort of I was going to say analog output, a la Arduino sort of pins. You know, you put a number between, I think it's 0 and 100 to them. Um, maybe there's negative in it as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so you move 0 to it. SLP is the sleep instruction, so it sleeps for six of these cycles. It then moves 100, which is obviously the maximum value here. And sleep, and the same as in TIS-100, there's kind of an implicit, let's go back to the top. We have one internal register called the accumulator which we can use to store thing in this is the state and there is some sort of power so as you can see up here in the top right these components when you start building them yourself cost money um yen i believe 
well maybe it's something else i'm not 100 sure on chinese currency and so part of it is to get the get them done that these puzzles in the smallest amount of cycles but there's also using the least amount of power and is also trying to minimize your costs so let's try and do this one here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag a board down onto the second control panel now th these boards have four pins two of these p pins two of these x pins now the x pins i believe are some sort of digital bus they're not strict I.O. pins, you just don't set them high or low or give them a value and send them to these output pins. In fact, you can't connect these bus, these X bus pins to these ones. So what you can do is just use your mouse to drag and connect the P0 pin to network. So what we're basically doing here is we're basically, if we go, we're basically building a fake security camera. So this top one is doing a blinking little light just to sort of make you think the camera's on and this one is simulating a bit more randomy sort of data so to do it we can see that it stays low for four cycles so one two three no oh, four yeah one two three four so if we move zero to p zero sleep for four cycles then move 100 to P0. Sleep for two cycles. Move zero to P0. So bring it back down again. Sleep for one cycle. Move 100 to P0. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sleep for one cycle. and move and then that should then once it once it hits that um it should go back up here do that and then do the sleep for four so let's just see i'm just gonna hit simulate see what happens okay that looks good now just let's say we get it wrong let's say we do the wrong thing here just to see how the input these lines here show you what you're expected on each cycle on each of the of the two uh, output gates output pins whatever you want to call them and the red line shows we've got it wrong so what i've done there is deliberately move that to a sleep of three so i'm going to put it back to sleep of four hit simulate and we're off again this is just obviously the very first and we can see down here very nicely done there's on the lower right it's showing the flashy lights on your fake security camera which we are gonna sell very cheap on eBay in the near future. So, pretty good, we're done. Now again on this um, production cost, power usage, um, production cost, power usage, and possibly the time it takes to run maybe i don't i don't know like on this one it doesn't make any sense because it has to run that time so maybe some later ones um have to get the job done quicker i don't know i mean it was a thing in tis 100 um but anyway so basically just just on this again it it's can be uh, I design if it's the same as Infinity Factory and TS100, which it almost certainly will be. A design which lowers production cost could be horribly inefficient in terms of power usage and vice versa. So, like doing one design which is in the middle, yeah, kind of, yeah, that's cool. You've done a design; it's not bad on production and not bad on power. But like in some of them, when you look at the actual solutions, the real, you know, like like how do you get production cost down really low, or how do you get power? Or, I mean, sorry, I'm not talking about this game. I'm talking about like TS100 or even Infinity Factory, which had the same similar um, type things, you know, the designs could be crazy. Like, you know, the power usage to get a low production cost could be monstrous and vice versa. So, so like, it, it, it's kind of, um, what, it, what it doesn't show uh, is a kind of semi, a good view of whether it's a, you know, a reasonable solution, it, it, it but, but anyway, that's that's a minor minor point. So and you can continue editing, work on it a bit more, run it again, play with it, listen to the music, and return. 
So it's a quick look at the first level fake security, fake, fake surveillance camera in Shenzhen IO, the new game from Zactronics. Um, I'm going to hopefully be doing each of the puzzles, one episode, and again, not concentrating too much on the story slash game in, in between them. Uh, people can, can do that themselves. They're, they're wonderful games, well worth doing. So thank you very much for watching the first episode of this. I know it's been a little while since I've been doing it, and now I'm only doing, I'm doing another Zactronics game, so I must be some sort of shield for Zactronics, or a very poor shield for Zactronics, because I haven't done base game on the PC, because I, I, I played that on a on another device, um, unfortunately. So, thanks again for watching. Um, if you liked it, please do drop a like on it, and sub consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do have the other Zactronic games, uh, Infinity Factory and... What's the other one? TS100, of course. Already done one episode per puzzle, if you're interested in them. So, until the next episode, thanks for watching. Bye now.